the King Clint's channel! Yay! So today we are going to be learning about Charles Darwin. So this is our book of Charles Darwin and exploring his life. And we're going to have a field trip of him going, no, us going to his house and it's going to be so great. So let's show you more about the book and more about him. So when he was a little kid, he, when he was to school, he used to go to the fields to catch, to catch bugs, insects. And then one day, the funniest thing happened. He was kind to be used because he loved the bugs yeah, he, and insects. He had to. And he was going to have two, like, and he found a third one. So he didn't have any space for the third one. So he had to put it in his mouth. Like, and then he had to spit it out and like, because it was too bitter. And I said, like, oh, I wish I could keep that bug. Love bugs. You can see he's trying to catch a butterfly here. Okay. So many bugs. So this is the map of London. So not only London, Ralph. Yeah, this is and also England. England. Yeah, and also Ireland. So when he grew up, he wanted to be a doctor like his dad. But look, he looked at um blood, blood and he got grossed out. He started to vomiting, so he did not do that anymore. So And then he turned he went to a university and he used to go with his professors and walk a lot and then he finally graduated um university yeah and then one of his professors sent him a little note that said you are invited to the yeah. Oh the, the Beagle the Beagle yes it's right here guys so then, I think he accepted it. And his dad did not like it, but as he so was a grown up, up, so he just did what he wanted to do. So he arrived to the rainforest. Look how beautiful it is. In it Brazil. Was, in Brazil, it was so beautiful. We went there, and it's, it's so teeming nuts. with life. And teeming with life. So he arrived there, and there were so many insects and everything to enjoy. A mouse there or a rat. Look, a map. He saw all these stuff. The Brazilian wandering spider, a plump with tall and hill. Oh, it was so oh, big. Like that. I would not want to go there. Oh my god. That would be so scary. That, that would be so scary. But I would not want to go there. I'm like, oh. Ooh. Ants? I love ants. So he collected butterflies, spiders, beetles. Insects because when he was a child, he loved them. So he found everything teeming with life. Look, look, a frog. A frog, boing, 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 boing. Oh, it's just like ours. Look, Oh, and I keep him in a story. Yes, he's a man. There's a monkey there. There's so much stuff. So he arrived to Argentina. And this place was. Beautiful, it was in a plane. So then he rided his horse with the Argentine man's cowboys. Look at them. They're like, oh, having fun. And he didn't say, yeah, this is the funniest part. Because it's like, they control the wing steering, but they do not fly. Wait, what are you talking about? Birds. The birds. These birds. Not the cowboys. Yeah, the cowboys are down here. Gauchos. Gauchos. Yeah. Yeah, gauchos. Sorry, forgot the name a little. So, these ones just steer, but they don't fly. So they're like, they're so no, funny. Like, if you zoom into that, um, this one down here, Ooh, you can see that they steer like an airplane, but they do not fly. It looks like it's flying, but it's not even gonna fly. So, they're just running. You're just funny, you're not thinking they're gonna fly. Like, no, 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 no. So, but he's still running. No. This, so then he arrived to the beautiful place. He was still there, but he went somewhere cool. He found fossils of the biggest sloth in the world. Yeah, in the, in the beach. The shape of this stop the life of these animals. You wonder, like, look at the mountain and look at the fossils. Down on top of the animal. 
so then we so can make this journey to the Galapagos Islands. So then he was going to go to the crazy part. Is it the, the bottom of our and the bottom of South America. It was the craziest place. It's almost like the Bermuda Yeah, there's so much um, like turbulence there. I call it storms. Storms. Storms in every week. Cape Horn. Yes. Cape Horn. It's Nobody can cross Cape Horn. Yeah, they don't like it. Cape Horn. Some of the Cape Town. Yeah, so, so they, they came from here. And they came down here, but it was too bad. So, so they went back. Wait, 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 they went down here. They tried to cross from here. They went up. Up, then up. they went back again. No, they, there, straight to my vagina. That place was too crazy. Yeah, look, to look, look, look at this, look at this. It's Cape Horn, look they're at, difficult. Look how crazy the waves. Cape Horn. So they have to go to the Strait of Magallanes. Yeah, they have to go there. It was just too popular. And up South America. So then they passed through the Buckland Islands. The Buckland Islands are like two islands. So then he was passing through the river, and this is what he saw through his journey. So he took a big whales. But also, there was a big storm, so... An iceberg. Yeah, uh, an, an iceberg. big iceberg, and then it fell down. And then, and then, it, and then uh, there was, because it, it made a big push of water, it almost broke the boat. And if that, that broke, they were like, They are in luck. More Darwin. Been, no, Darwin. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But then he started going back on his journey, that the boat sank in ice. I'm like, I can't tell something, I have funny voice. So they keep going through the map. I'm like, can you see this? He knows that they have to eat all the creatures from the same place. So like, oh, let's just get the cavish. Oh, I'm gonna die. Um, what do you say? I'm gonna die or the chuck. It's never gonna die. So then they arrived to not their destination. Chile. To Chile. To the most craziest place of I think you know Russia. Is it is this called the Fuego? No, I think so no. Tierra del Fuego. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that, oh, yeah. It's, that means Earth of Fire. This is the Andes Mountains and this is Chile. And Chile is the worst place to go. Guys, because it's not the so worst, but volcanoes <laughs> erupting. This is no. very beautiful, it's not the worst. <laughs> I love the volcanoes. So it no, was beautiful but not the worst too, but uh, <laughs> Yeah, like that. But there were so many volcano eruptions. There was earthquakes. Oh, and this was the crazy. Wait, it was like he was in thin ice. It was like, ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh. But he, he thought he looked at the shapes of the mountains and he wondered, hmm, did these actually grow with how the earth moved and developed? So those mountains developed, cause when he went up high. Up high, 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 after the clouds. Wait, that's pain, that's pain, that's pain. This is how it looks like. He was getting to the clouds still, but this is how it looks like before. And they started crying with the earthquakes. But now look, there's snow on top of it. You must be wondering, this is the fire area. Like, why is there snow? Very but high mountains. It's very so high. high. It's super thin air, so it does not get snow. Of course, um, sometimes when it's like, um, like water, sometimes the snow cannot go straight through, so it stops the fire. So then he found life there. This is like, this is used to be Bossy. under the sea, like bosses. This is um, like uh, underwater shells. They used to be underwater, no, but then those are seashells. Yeah, seashells. Because the Earth wasn't. Evolved, yeah. So that big mountain was everything once underwater. Yeah. But then it started growing with all the earthquakes and everything, so it started going up. Yeah, and you know, see here he's holding a like look how high he is. And, and by the way, guys, all the sweat and fire and all this stuff, because he's so high, right? He forgot about the thin the air. It's hard to get so you can up there. Hard to breathe. Well, he continued his journey. He survived. Obviously. Well, he. Shortly almost lost his journey because it's back going back to the moon again. But not this does that end here. So he continued his journey. This is the part where the action starts. So he arrived to the Galapagos Islands. And you will believe what he found there. Um, um, uh, oh no, we can't see the pages. We can't see the pages. The Galapagos Islands! So this is how the Galapagos Islands are named in English and Spanish. Lots of names in English and Spanish if you don't know what Spanish is. I call Spanish guys. So he 
always beautiful creatures. I like my all these creatures. And she's the hottest one. They're worse than the people. Yeah, they're worse. Or, or humans. Or, 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 Turtle. I'm trying to say like a very amazing turtle. Huge. Turtle. Huge. Huge. I love it. Riding it. And it worked. So, it was so big. It was 200 pounds. Oh, oh, have you heard of our dog? It's 200 pounds. Okay. Not out. So he found a four foot long iguana. Oh, it was so long. Yeah, and he lived close to the beach. And also, finches. The pinto, the pinto. You must be wondering why those birds are. Well, was, there's something. See this bird? He is a, a lot of nice, hard beak, right? See this one over here? It's longer. Well, that's if you have ever seen a hummingbird, you have seen how long the beaks are. If you've seen them. The beaks. Yeah. yeah. And you notice that sometimes they go to flowers, right? And they put their their beak inside of the flower. Well. Yeah, so it doesn't 
mixture. Mm -hmm. So, 